y bienvenidos a los diarios de Gordon. Uh, this is um, a Spanish past tense tip video. What a beautiful painting, eh? Painted by Ana, who works with Lightspeed Spanish. Very beautiful, eh? It was for Cynthia's birthday. So I'll mention it now so that you, nobody says, oh, what's that picture in the background? Painted by Ana. Um, Today we're going to talk about what's called the plue perfect. The last video that I did was talking about the present perfect and about when we use the present perfect. But what's the plue perfect? Well, if the present perfect is I have eaten, the plue perfect, plus quam perfecto, get that name down you, um, is the I had eaten. So how do you say I had eaten? Well, that's nice and straightforward. It's always the imperfect and it's había. Comido. So you take he comido and you make it into había comido. And obviously that conjugates all the way through había comido, habías, había, habíamos, habíais, habían comido. All right, so it never changes. And that's had. But the real question is, when do you use the had? When do you say the plus, plus quam perfecto? What, what makes you do it? What's the trigger? Well, to understand that, what you've got to do is you've got to see it along a timeline. Okay, so we've got a timeline here. And if this is now, okay, I'll get here, right, so you can see me. This is now, okay? And what happens is we, to use the plus quam perfecto, the plus perfect, the había comido, you have to take two jumps into the past. It's a two jump tense. So what happens is this, the two jump, I'll do this in English and then we'll do it in Spanish. So you say, I saw John the other day, right? So we've gone back and that's preterite, okay? I saw John the other day and he said, so here we are, that earlier he had eaten in a great restaurant, all right? So can you see what we've done? We've done two jumps into the past. So I'm telling you now, I saw John the other day, ba -bum, okay? And he said, that, and it doesn't have to be in the sentence like earlier, it doesn't really matter. He said that the other day he had eaten in a great restaurant. All right, so it's a two jump into the past. When we jump once into the past, we tend to be the preterite, the imperfect, blah, blah, blah. But then if we have to refer to anything earlier, we go into the pluperfect, okay? now. The issue is, for those people, like I'm moving on my timeline now, I'm stuck on it now, for those people who don't use the blue perfect in their own language, this is a challenge, okay? But it isn't difficult to make. So let's do that sentence in, uh, in Spanish, okay? So, we jump. First of all, yo vi a Juan el otro día. Y dijo, right, and he said, que... Había antes, había comido en un buen restaurante. Okay? So, here I am telling you about the... Com I've gone one jump back. I'm telling you about the conversation I had with Juan and then I'm telling you about what he had said. Okay? What he had said. Or what he had done earlier. Right? So that's what the blue perfect is all about. It's a double jump. Now, one of the issues is that I know lots of people from the US say, I talked with Juan the other day, with, with, with I'm saying Juan in, in, the, in the English sense, you know, that they, um, the slowest builder, Spanish builder in the world, Juan, he's called Juan, one brick at a time. But um, lots of American speakers would say, I spoke to Juan and he said that he ate in a good restaurant earlier, okay? That's okay, but what you have to, unfortunately, what you have to get used to is, you, in some Spanish-speaking countries, they will say, yo uh, vi a Juan y dijo que co comió en un restaurante la semana anterior, okay? So some Spanish-speaking countries do the same, they don't use the blue perfect. But certainly here in Spain, we use it exactly the same, or they use it exactly like we would do in the UK, which is this had, had eaten, okay? So the structure is not that difficult. The challenge is knowing when to use it. 
when to use it. So what you have to do is keep in your mind this double jump into the past. Yeah, when you double jump into the past, one story and then a story earlier, you're going to be using Abia. So let's do some examples just to finish. So um, uh, it's nearly always when you you have talking about a conversation and people are telling you what they had done. You can say, uh, oh, um, si, sí, uh, yo hablaba con él y, y le dije que ya había arreglado el problema. Okay? So I was talking with him, one jump into the past, and I said that I had, I had already fixed the problem. Okay, so I'd fixed the problem when? Before that conversation. So it's always a, an event before. Or, um, eh, hablé con Cynthia y me dijo que eh, había ido a la casa de sus padres. Okay, so I talked with her and she said that she had gone. She had gone to a parent's house. Okay, so that's that's what the pluperfect's all about. It doesn't change. You don't need to use any other tense except the imperfect tense, the abia. And the structure is just like the perfect tense, but you, you're making it into the imperfect. The the, prayer, the the abia comido, abia hablado, abia had, had, had. Yeah. Okay. So I hope that helps. I mean, now I'm going to be in the past. Not the double jump past, but the past to finish off. Um the best way of doing this is to start writing out sentences, write them out and start structuring them, going into the past once and then saying something. And, and if, you, if you're from the UK, this probably won't be an issue. If you're from other countries or if English is not your uh, first language, it could be an issue and you'll have to just practice it, okay? But, but bear in mind that here in Spain, it is a very common tense. It is used massively and so you must get used to it, okay? Entonces, os dejo, los caballos se despiden de vosotros y yo también. Hasta luego, adiós.